Love that look. It's so cool seeing just a pitch black snake head coming out. Let's see if it's a pied or not. It is! <laughs> That's cool. First head out, and man, that is black. It's blacker than black. That might be the ultimate snake I was trying for in this clutch. So we think this is triple hat monsoon dream sickle. We got a blue eyed Lucy in the clutch. It comes in and it starts to open the neck down, but it fades off. Hey guys, welcome back to the vlog. And this week we're gonna show you a project that's very, very dear to my heart. This is the monsoon project. It's kind of like the sunset we did a few weeks back where it's recessive, that's relatively untapped. Tons of new stuff yet to be made. And we're gonna talk about the animals that we have, some of the animals we purchased, one we've made. And then uh, we're gonna talk about kind of what we think we can do with that project in the future. Um, then we have a really crazy sumapied that we wanna share with you guys, a little um, reveal. So let's get to it and see what those look like. All right, so recently I was able to get my first monsoon male and it's 2020. Got it from Dave Green who founded the entire project. And this guy is really awesome. Let's look at him up close. All right, so here is our 2020 monsoon male and he's possible calico and actually have a decent decent idea that he could be There's a lot of pink on the sides so maybe low expression but great beautiful hemp. Well, you see how incredibly busy they are they're almost like uh like a labyrinth on the back just absolutely wild and they have real narrow eye stripes they're kind of low slung on the side of the head just crazy crazy pattern a little bit of striping on the top clear bellies and this is really cool. And I end up getting this male specifically because um, a lot of my het females have Mojave. And the, the whole pro monsoon project kind of grew out of the um, Mojave project in the sense that the first monsoon was actually a Mojave monsoon. So, so many of the initial monsoons and hets ended up being Mojave or Blue Eyed Lucy complex. And so, reached out and got this awesome boy from Dave. We did a crazy unboxing, a really good unboxing video actually, and then uh, idiot Justin uh, deleted it accidentally. And so, let's look at him here. So that boy was my 2020 pickup, but actually last year I was able to pick up a couple really amazing girls, monsoons, and they've gotten pretty big. So you'll see what they look like now at about 12 to 1400 grams. Um, they look actually, I think better. The actually contrast comes in more with age. Um, they look really insane. They're in the hold back rack over here. So here are the two girls. This is the second one. Look at how crazy that pattern is. And the color is great. The contrast seems to grow with age. Absolutely just intense and it's hard to even explain. It's just so, so weird and wild. I love like in the semblance of a, of a back stripe there, but it's, it's trying to stripe, but all, in a way it has almost exactly the same pattern as the sides. It's just trying to come together almost in a point there in the middle. These girls are beautiful and getting pretty big now. Can't wait to start figuring out where we're gonna take this project in the future. So I think the big challenge with these will be just to figure out how to really manipulate the pattern. So, so a lot of the early combos we've seen, we can change the color a little bit and that'll definitely be part of the goal, but the pattern will be the really, the really uh, challenge to change the pattern on them and make them uh, look all different ways now that we have a new palette to work with. Here's another big girl I got last year. This is Pastel Mojave Monsoon. She's, she's over 1600 grams now. You see the pastel and the Mojave together kind of wipe out the back pattern a little bit, um, but you see all that complex pattern still on the sides with her. She's in sheds, so. but yeah, big girl. Just another color palette, another pattern palette, um, something new to work with. And whenever you see something new like this, especially if it's in a single gene mutation, you're like, all right, with all the hundreds of combos we have at our disposal now, what can we do, that, what can this gene do that'll change them all up in some way that was completely impossible before we had this? And that's really what the, the big kind of siren song of all these new, new mutations are that makes them so much fun to work with. 
And of course, you know me, we gotta put it into the Desert Ghost Project. Leopard, Double Hat, Desert Ghost Monsoon. We did these on Breeder Loan with Johnny and Brittany Gobble. Awesome, awesome. That's Pastel, Leopard, Mojave, Double Hat, Monsoon, Desert Ghost. Pastel, Leopard, Mojave, Double Hat, Monsoon, Desert Ghost. So even if we can't change the pattern like crazy, Putting it into a Desert Ghost is gonna absolutely transform this project um, color-wise, and so we're really looking forward to that. So here's another awesome one. This is Pastel Mojave, um, Het Monsoon, 100% Het Lavender, and 50% Het Pied. Some great kind of Het Pied ringering going on there. So we think this is Triple Het Monsoon Dreamsicle. This is another one, I actually bought this one from the Gobbles. They invested in this project, have done really well with it. Um, definitely give them a follow. I'll put the link in the description below. Awesome people, awesome animals, awesome projects. All right, so I want to show you guys the first monsoon we've made here at JKR. And again, this was done with the gobbles. We used their male to one of my head females um, just to kind of get this off the ground and get us both some amazing animals from this project. And we end up with some killer odds. Let's check out those babies. And then we have a little bit of surprise trying to figure out what one of them is together. So here's the clutch that we got, We're starting out with a regular Het Monsoon male. And you see here, this is a normal Het Monsoon, but you see it doesn't look that normal. There certainly, I think, is a visual element to some of the, uh, to the Het Monsoons. Maybe not so visual that you can call it an incomplete dominant, but see the spots on the back of the head. Definitely some interesting patterning here, extra loops and stuff in the pattern. There's something to that, and we'll learn more about it as we make them. But that one is, regular Het Monsoon. Then we have a Calico Het Monsoon. You see look a little bit of that same kind of head stamping in the back, some of that looping on the sides. This is gonna be a high white Calico once it grows up a little more. Then we end up with a visual. This is Pastel Mojave Calico Monsoon. And loving this, loving this pattern. It actually has a ton of pattern, even though it has pastel and Mojave in it. The calico brings up a lot of white in the sides. That's just beautiful. I feel like this is such a neat combo. It's really, really, the, the monsoons didn't have kind of those same kind of wide eye stripes here. The narrow eye stripes are white on the head. Um, seems like that kind of shows through them. So a little bit in the heads and definitely in the visuals. And here's the one we get to find out together. We got a blue-eyed Lucy in the clutch. It was pairing was a pastel Mojave monsoon to a Mojave calico het. So this one could have pastel, it could have um, calico, it is a super Mojave for sure. But I want to see what's under this pattern. So we're going to look under the black light and see what we can see um, and see if we can bring out anything to help us know either it's a visual monsoon or just a het. All right, so I had this all planned out. We were going to take the, the black light and look at the sample together. But it seems like one of my kids must have been playing with and has run off with the actual black light flashlight. So I'm gonna show you the video that I actually took when we first hatched this. Um, I was sharing with some people um, what we were finding under the black light. And so you guys get to see kind of my first reaction seeing under the black light. You got maybe, maybe the more raw, unedited uh, look at what this animal could be if it's a head or a visual months in. Let me know in the comments below what you think. Here we go. So you can see there is a light pattern to it. And the pattern, pattern seemed to fall off on the bottom half. You see the top here. What you're seeing there on the top is just the spine. That's not actually pattern. But there's just not much to see. Hold oh, still. I'll move for a sec. Okay, the only thing I can really see, aside from that little line there, doesn't, doesn't show much, is on the, on the head here, you see the real strong stripe. It comes in and it starts there from the neck down, but it fades off after that spot and then there's nothing after that, except for those little side patterns. So, so let me compare that real fast with the, the other one. Here's the one soon. You see it has the same stripe on the neck. It starts from the top and it kind of fades off and disappears. Same as this one does, starts, fades off, disappears. Um, Side pattern, you kind of have the same thing. You have some patterning here on the sides and it drops off towards the belly because it goes white. 
kind of similar to what we're seeing here, but I don't know. That seems a little bit more, more solid. Anyhow, you guys are seeing now what I'm seeing. I'd love to get your thoughts. All right, so there you go. I think it's a hat. I don't know, what do you guys think? Put it in the comments below if you see enough pattern there. But to me, I think that looks like a, uh, a really interesting blue-eyed Lucy pastel, maybe calico, het monsoon, um, pretty animal. Now let's look at that crazy pied clutch that we've been teasing. This is cool. We have an awesome clutch. You see a little a black head there. This is a clutch from a black pastel mahogany yellow belly pied. Mahogany yellow pied to a mahogany head pied. Right, so the first baby we see out here is Alita Suma. That's super exciting, and we get to find out if it's pied. Pretty, uh, pretty cool. Love that look. It's so cool seeing just a perfectly black, pitch black snakehead coming out. Let's see if it's a pied or not. It is! <laughs> That's cool. First head out, and man, that is black. It's blacker than black. That might be the ultimate snake I was trying for in this clutch, which should be a uh, black pastel sumapied. That is way blacker, in my opinion, than the typical sumapieds I've made. And look how jagged that pattern is. Could that be yellow belly too? Look at that. Because yellow belly usually makes those pixelated saddles. Wow. Well, all right, we're done here. Thanks for watching. No, no I'm kidding. Man, that's amazing to get the first egg though. <laughs> really, really cool. So I'm actually gonna cut that egg cutting short right there because there's nothing else like really crazy in that clutch. We really nailed it with that first baby. That was everything we hoped it'd be. Black pastel sumapied, and I think yellow belly too. It's crazy, waiting for it to shed, but we'll bring that video of the post shed on the animal, animal to you next week. Um, also, next week, we have this really interesting mistake I made. I say interesting. It kind of sucked, but I made a mistake on a pairing for clutch, and it still ended up kind of crazy. Maybe the best clown I've made this year. I look forward to kind of sharing kind of the journey we took on that. Um, and as always, you know, like and subscribe if you really enjoy the content. Thanks, see ya.